This is strictly an informational meeting. Uh, as this council is aware, we partnered with Rock Region Metro to provide uh, van transport from Conway to Little Rock and back, Conway to Malton and back, and Conway to Russell and back, specifically Russell and Malton to be UACCM and Arkansas Tech. Uh, Little Rock would be folks who want to uh, save some money on commuting. That being said, the city of Conway has been receiving about $1 million a year for public transportation. We've not been using that, so it's been going to other cities. However, we do have a, an amount built up. It's around $4.3 million, and it looks like the cost for the uh, Rock Region uh, transport with these three towns is about 200000 annually. Does that sound right, Felicia? About $200,000 annually. So we are going to have, we get, like I said, about a $1 million a year, so we're going to have some monies left over. That being said, a lot of folks have asked us about public transportation. And again, this is strictly informational now. It's just to start the dialogue. Uh, this is the first step in, in a lot of steps, mm -hmm. uh, if we were to do this. Uh, James has expressed interest in it, and Jamie and Felicia have been working on it uh, for quite some time. We could actually fund this. Our, our biggest problem is, is what, does, what will it look like in Conway? We know we don't want the big buses. Uh, there are a lot of things, some cool things out there that were actually driverless vehicles, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, that we could look at. But a part of our problem is is our walkability and mm -hmm. and our pickup points and drop off points uh, in Conway. Because as a city, we've we've not prepared for that. James, since he has uh, come on board, he is working on that and our future developments. That being part of our future developments, pick up and drop off points for public transportation. <clears throat> Still, we do not have a really great system in place right now, so there, there's some kinks we're going to have to work out of it. Uh, mm. We really don't know what the cost would be. It would be about a 90-10 match, 10% coming from us, 90% from the from federal government. Uh, it's, this is a 5307 restricted fund. Is that right? So I just really wanted to open up the dialogue. One thing we would have to do, too, is we would have to provide some paratransport for people who are non-ambulatory, mm -hmm. who need to go to dialysis, dialysis and the doctor place like it. We have a group here now that does a tremendous job uh, with that right now, the Senior Citizens Program. They actually have more to do, more people to transport than they are capable of transporting right now. So I do appreciate the job that you do because mm -hmm. it helps folks that really need a hand. And we appreciate that. But this is just <coughs> an open dialogue. This is to, to get your thoughts into it. I'm going to turn it over to James and Felicia and, and uh, Jamie to kind of kick it off. And these are some things we will, we're probably, if everything were perfectly in tune right now, we're probably still three years out. Mm -hmm. Best case scenario is 30 months, but we'll say three years just, just to be safe. But the money's there. The question is, how do we do it? How do we make it work in Conway? Yeah. James, you'll kick off? Sure. I think, you know, some things to keep in mind, um, and I think it's a very good point that we, you know, don't necessarily look at, at big buses. And the reason being is that this is a extremely volatile time in, in terms of, of transportation. Um, if we're, for a lot of the, the existing public transportation systems that are out there that are, use fixed base uh, or fixed route uh, bus systems, you know, we're looking at, we're just on the cusp of autonomous vehicles. Uh, you're seeing a lot of uh, caving from, from rideshare programs. Uh, but it's also kind of an exciting time when you look at, at transit in terms of what the possibilities are that we could do. Because, uh, you know, there, there could be things like rideshare uh, programs where, you know, there's not a lot of transit agencies that have really done that. But that's, that's sort of an innovative way that we could do that that might fill some of those roles uh, that you would have uh, with fixed route that you might otherwise have with fixed route. Uh, also, you know, in terms of looking at things like autonomous shuttles uh, that are kind of small scale that would run uh, on sort of key points between key destinations, uh, really have to think about who are our end users uh, on that. Um, you know, one of the most successful transit agencies in the state is Razorback Transit, and it's because they were they were designed. Uh, and had a, a system that worked really well based on that, and it's grown and grown and grown and grown, you know, based around providing who their, who their specific users were. Now started in 1974. Yeah. I was there. 
I, 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 used, I used it while I was there as well. Um, and so looking at these, at these things, you know, other things to consider are headway times. When we look at any kind of uh, fixed route type of service, uh, you want to have something that's reliable. Uh, so if, you know, for instance, a lot of times when you have a, a, a bus system, if it's an hour or 30 or 45 minutes between stops, that's something that discourages use. And so I think when we look at this, whatever we look at, we need to be sort of nimble uh, and start small because there's just so, there's so much unknown unknowns related to this and how this would be introduced. And uh, so it's, uh, but it, it's very, very exciting. I think it has the benefit, uh, the potential to be a, a huge benefit for the community. Council, have any questions? You know, I know there's some people out in the audience who, who were uh, at a function I was at last night. Would any of you like to ask a question of, of any of us or make a comment? Julie, I see you smiling over there. <laughs> I'm excited that you're thinking about this and working on it. It sounds very good. Deborah? I think it's very needed, for sure. What I, I guess what, I'm sorry, go ahead, Jamie. Okay. So I was just going to throw out there, you know, this might be something you want to take back and think about and we can rediscuss later. Um, one of the things that we can do is solicit an RFQ to get a professional consultant, transit consultant, um, <clears throat> to come look at Conway and, and kind of give us direction and guidance on this. Didn't we have that done in the last five, six, seven years, didn't somebody come and draw something? I thought so. Traffic study? I, yeah. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Do y'all remember that? Or? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 When was it? They drew routes up. They drew routes up and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I do not know. Do you remember, Felicia? We did a transit study in 2009. Yeah, but it's been that long ago. Mm -hmm. okay. What year was that? I couldn't remember. Two thousand nine. I couldn't remember. I'd like to. I'd like to pull that out first before we start okay. talking about hiring somebody, so we can go back and take a look. Okay. Yeah. And see, see what, what, it, yeah. what it looked like then. Yeah. Yeah. Things have changed. That's that's good. Okay. There's no need in spending a bunch of money again if we've already got some answers. We'll uh, we'll pull that and get copies to each of you. Let's and. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a slow process, so we're going to meet four weeks on the uh, parks. Let's let's put this out six weeks, six weeks. and that'll give mm -hmm. give everyone time to do some uh, some checking. Will that, will that work for y'all? That works. Mm -hmm. can, can I ask a question? Sure. It's, I think it came from you, but it might have come from somebody else. We have $4 million available. I thought when we did not use that money, it was turned back. Yeah. It, it's like our, if we if we choose not to use it, I think about six hundred thousand of it goes away September of twenty twenty. So if you do not use it, it does. They do reallocate it somewhere else, but okay. it, it is in our name right now. So but we if we don't go, use it, it will, it does go away. We could go back in and tap that money then. Cool. Right. For the so you're looking at a total of eight eighty yes. eight hundred eighty thousand per year. And you have to use that for. Buses for vehicles, or what, what do you have to use it for? You can use it for the capital. The capital mm -hmm. is a okay. 9010 um, match yes. for okay. it, but you can also use it for operations, maintenance on the buses, um, you know. or cars, or vans. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could you build um, stations yeah. where people would sit? You can. Under, you can build the facilities areas. to run the program. You can. You, you could use it for that. Yes, sir. This will work, guys. Mm -hmm. This absolutely will work. I promise you. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think so. well, it's just it's just kind of sitting there. Let's use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't need to leave, leave it sitting there. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't think. 